In this presentation, we're going to get an overview of Applied Computing Units 1 to 4. To start off, we're going to talk about what Applied Computing is. Then, we'll look at why we should be studying it. And then, we'll look at the summary of the units, as in, what's the content like? What are you going to be learning about? So let's talk about what Applied Computing is all about. Applied Computing is a subject for students who are interested in a career in IT, or anyone who's interested in developing IT skills. There's a strong emphasis on project-based and student-centered learning. That means you have to come up with your own ideas. You have to be creative when you're developing and producing solutions. Now let's answer the question of why study applied computing? First of all, if you're interested in a career in IT, then this is the best subject for you. Applied computing in units one and two and three and four will train you for careers in cybersecurity, data analytics, games development, computer networking, robotics, software engineering, and any other career related to computing. If you think about it, the world needs people with unique computer skills. Applied computing equips you with the knowledge and skills required to adapt to a tech-savvy workforce. Your employment opportunities increase, and you'll be valued. Workplaces are always looking for people with specific IT skills, and this subject can help you get those skills. And finally, applied computing complements all your other subjects such as English, Science, Mathematics, Legal Studies, and Business Management. Now let's have a quick peek at the units. In Applied Computing 1 and 2, there are two areas of study in each unit. That's a total of four outcomes in a year. After completing Applied Computing 1 and 2, the next year, you'll have one of two options, Data Analytics or Software Development. The Unit 3 and 4 subject that you pick will be heavily influenced by what you enjoyed in 1 and 2. So for example, Unit 1 Area of Study 1 is very similar to Data Analytics, whereas Unit 1 Area of Study 2, Programming, is very similar to Software Development. Applied Computing is a very practical subject, so let's take a look at what you're going to be producing. You can expect to develop data visualizations and infographics, such as this one. This particular infographic is about how the internet works, and it summarizes that in a very creative and visually appealing way. You can also expect to develop computer programs. We start with the basics of computer programming, and then you learn how to develop your own software. And finally, we learn how computers and devices are connected on a local and global scale, and understand how to defend these devices against cyber threats such as hackers and viruses. Okay, now let's talk about the workload. Applied computing is a practical subject, but there are theoretical components as well. When you come into class, about 35% of the time, you should expect to do some theory, such as note-taking and reading. And about 65% of the time, we'll be on the computers. One final note is that applied computing is not a very difficult subject, but the workload is just as high as any other VCS subject. Please be aware of that.